Hi everyone, so I've created this sci-fi prop just for the thumbnail in, I don't know, five minutes maybe. And if you like sci-fi and hard surface and you're not using plasticity and you're still using Blender or something like that for this kind of design, then you are absolutely stupid. So I will show you how you can create this model here as a beginner in 15, 20 minutes or so with explanation. So on your own, you can make that in five minutes or so. And before we dive in just a quick announcement so I've launched our plasticity Easter supercell on our course bundles you can check out first link in the description I have three different bundles but if you're a beginner and you like sci-fi and hard surface then this beginner super bundle might be for you it's 40% off I'm doing not often this kind of super sales but in this bundle you will get a course how you can create yeah this sci-fi prop completely from scratch in plasticity everything explained and this is an actual render that i did from that prop also if you like grenades and this kind of yeah it's it's typical hard surface sci-fi design stuff and you don't need a week for this kind of of design we've created that in two hours or so completely from scratch for beginners so plasticity is completely crazy for design sci-fi hard surface and also what is in the bundle is this drone here you'll see it's a little bit more organic a little bit more smooth forms and curvature and yeah this is also render that i've created so you find that also in the beginner bundle as well as if you like products and more real world examples then there's also included this headphone design so again, a little bit more of a modern, organic kind of a little bit of design. And additionally, also what is included in the beginner super bundle here is this iPhone smartphone here. Again, completely from scratch with all of the details and yeah, even at the bottom, all of the screws and, and grids and all that just in a few hours. Everyone can follow along. It's, it's super beginner friendly with introduction. And yeah, I also have here some a little bit more advanced courses, but yeah, if you are a beginner and you're watching this video here, then you can check out first link in the description and let's jump in into our plasticity tutorial here. So yeah, I've created this very simple shape here in mid journey. So also below this video, you can download that image so you can follow along. And guys, don't just watch it. Go on plasticity.xyz and just download that. You can try it for 30 days. And seriously, if you're still using Blender or all of this other 3D software for hard surface modeling, you are stupid. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense at all. Let's start. And obviously, I will not go into every detail, right? I just want to, to cover the basics because oftentimes it's just very repetitive. And so once you are here in plasticity, let's start with the very, very basic main shape. You can do that in one million ways, but for example, you have here primitive a cylinder. So you can click on the cylinder, click on the middle, drag that out. So this will be like your diameter. So select that and drag that out a little bit. So you get a shape like that. And now very simple, you can just press two, then you are here in edge mode and you can select both of those edges. And what you can do now is either you fill it them, but here we want to give a nice hard surfacey um, chamfer. So I like that. And now let's add already, yeah, this kind of, mechanical part, like six or eight pieces, which will grab our, our main shape here. So for that, I want eight pieces like we have here. So I want to break this part into, into eight. So we don't have to create it eight times. So we can create it once and then array it over. So for that, we can very simple use this line. So select the line, go to the middle and just drag it downwards 90 degrees. And now we want to array it. So here we have a command radial array. And if we array it around the middle, you see we have six, but if we want eight, we need 16 lines. Why? Let me show you. So let's increase the number to 16. So just drag 
and OK. So we have 16 lines. But now if you press 2, so you are in edge mode, you can select the curves or edges, press control click and deselect this one and this one. And we can delete now with X all of those other curves which are yellow. So we just have two, right? Because now if we create here this piece in the middle, which we will do in a second, then we can array it over eight times and then it will be symmetrical. So you will see in a second. So we kind of have a pizza piece, right? But so in, in within this shape, we can start to create some details. So let's create actually this kind of stuff by creating again a line, go to the middle and just leave it a little bit off a distance here to this other curve. And let's mirror this curve to the other side. So it's the exact same distance. And for that, we can select this curve and go here to mirror and just select this left piece. So we want to bring the left to the right. And then it's here on the right side, press OK, join, select both of those curves with shift and now join because now we have two separate curves, but we want one curve. Perfect. And now we, I want to create here a, sh a shape which has the same curvature like this spherical edge. So if I go to the top view and press center circle and go to the middle and drag it out a little bit too, yeah, maybe somewhere here, we have all of those curves. So just to make uh, things a little bit simpler, let's select this curve that we just created and our circle and press G. So G is for move command like Blender and just bring this up a little bit because I want only this inner piece. So I don't want all of those curves around. So for that, there's an amazing function T for trim. So if you press T, you can bump, just select this curve and bump this one and this one and press right click to confirm. And you see now we only have this piece. And yes, it's a little bit different if you're coming from Blender and, and, and Boolean and su subdivision modeling. Cat is a little bit different, but it's one million times faster, much more fun, much more intuitive. Because now we have those three curves. And again, if they are connected, we want one connected curve. So press J again for join. So we have one curve. And now let's also add here some fillets. So just press B. So here, this little icon, fill it, edges, curve or vertex. So press B and let's just give it a nice little fillet. And now what we want to do, we want this shape here, this curve shape on our body here. So for that, there's an amazing command. If you search for, so if you press F, you can search for every command. And this is a very important one. You will use this all the time. So remember that, but it called, it's called imprint. I have it on shift one, so it's just fast to use, but here use imprint and onto our body, bam. And you see you have this shape on our main object. If you press okay and you select this curve, you can with X delete it because now you can with face mode. So if you press three, select all of those faces with shift click and you can now extrude them right? But it will be still the same body. So if you, so if you extrude them and you see, you still have just one solid body. It's always the same, but I want it as a separate body. So for that, you can select those three of uh, all faces with three face mode and now shift D. So shift D is always duplicate. And now you have an extra piece, an extra sheet with G, you see, you can move it around and which is exactly on the same shape as our main object. And now you also have here command thicken a sheet, so an icon. And once you thicken that, you just give it a thickness to that sheet or surface. So sheet like a paper sheet, right? Or a surface. It's 2D. Press OK. And you have this piece here. And I forgot to add everywhere some fillets, but let's just go to two edge mode and let's 
select those edges here very simple and just give them a nice fillet and also select this one and maybe give here a nice chamfer just to add a little bit more of interesting shape. Because we stayed in this shape here, we can now with object mode, if you press 4, you can select this extra piece. And again, we go to the top view and again, we radial array it around here in the middle, but we need 8. And if you press OK, bam, we have something like that. OK, so they are a little bit too thick. so. Just play a little bit around with the shape and stuff. But I think that looks really cool. And what I now what I want to do is I want to give it here in the middle a little bit of a extrusion which goes like inside. So intrusion kind of, I, I don't know how it's called. But for that, it's very simple. You can select in three face mode this face here on the top. And it's still this whole circle. So we go to the top and we just create a new circle and we can play around with the shape as we want. Right click, right? And now again, we want to imprint this. So if you press G and you bring it to the top, you see this is the, this curve is separate, but we want to imprint this curve onto our main body. So again, pr so, uh, press F and search for imprint. But you can press right click and assign shortcut or add shortcut and press shift one. It's just so easy and fast to use with your left hand. So imprint this onto your body and you have the circle. Delete this curve. And now what you can do, you can select this face again and you can drag that outwards. You can drag that inwards or you select this face and you press E for extrude. And then you directly will see the progress because it's red, so you will see it will subtract, like, right? And also, if you um, turn a little bit here, this white circle, you see you can give it a little bit of a nice, um, yeah, angular shape, which just gives like the super sci fi hard surface uh, look and feel, right? So that's cool. And now let's bring again something from the middle up. So this time, what you also can do, if you have a perfect circle as here, you can either just create a circle, what we just did, or you select this face and you press O for offset, because then you will just offset the outer edge and you can just drag that to somewhere here and right click. And again, you have this extra face, which you can again, just extrude a little bit. And here at the top, I want a new body, kind of a new extrusion, so again, E extrude because I you see this time it's blue so blue is always adding if you drag it down then it's red then it will subtract but if it's blue and again I just want to add here a little bit of yeah, this kind of angular shape right press ok and we have something like that so now press 2 and just add this edge shift 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 and shift all of those edges and just give them a fillet just like that right click bam voila you have beautiful fillets also if you want to create some super high um, quality close-up renders you can also select this edge so if you press to edge mode and you alt click this edge you will select this whole loop and now you don't need any topology, you don't need any cleanup, you just select the edge that you want to fill it and you just fill it. it. And here, you just give it a fillet. And if you go to this render mode and press right click and then you have here show edges, so then you disable the edges, bam, you have a beautiful fillet here. And look, it's everywhere perfect. So yeah do that with blender or something like that maybe just let's let me show you just one two more cool things so let's just work a little bit on this piece so then again shift click select with object mode all of those others delete them with x and so we can just work on one and you see we still have those edges from the operation from before if you don't if you just want to clean up your geometry because you don't need any edges here right you can object mode, select this object and then search for with F and delete redundant topology. So search for that command, re delete redundant topology, click on it, bam, everything's gone, everything looks clean. 
And now let's just create a little cut here. Just why not? So yeah, very simple. You can go to the top, you create the line. So it will not be symmetrical, but I just want to show it to you in a quick way. But you can just here. And if you don't see the line, it's because you're not in the tog in the X-ray mode. So just go here and toggle it, it or it's Shift Z. And now you see the line in the middle. So let's go somewhere in the middle. Yeah, somewhere here. And again, let's give it some fillets to make it smooth. So press B and give it here some fillets. And now we don't want to imprint, but now we actually want to cut this body. Why? I will show you in a second why, because it's so crazy fast how you can add cuts. So select this curve. And if you press C, so C is the command for cut, you can select this main body and then already you see how this curve will from this view cut just on what you see, right? So press OK, delete this curve. And now you have one X body and you have this other extra body. So why this is cool? Because if you go now to two edge mode, you can select both of those edges here and you can give them a nice chamfer and bam, you just add a nice cool cut here. Of course, it's very, very simple what I showed to you here, but yeah, this is the way to go. And let's just add one more detail here. So three, select this face. You can press O again for offset. So give it here a little bit of offset. And now just select this and let's bring this upwards a little bit. So yeah, let's maybe make it like this. And now just select here those corner edges here and just give it also a nice fillet. And also here at the top, at the bottom. Yeah, just to add a little bit, I don't know, just for this beginner tutorial here. And once you are done again, object mode, or just press tab and select this piece and this piece and radial array around the middle. And we still have our eight pieces. And yeah, I don't want to make it too long because it's oftentimes repetitive. So again, I just wanted to remind you, if you like sci-fi and hard surface and you have plasticity, then I have a whole course bundle here on this topic. And in just in a few hours, step by step, everything explained in detail. And of course, we go much more deeper than this basic tutorial here, right? I will explain to you how you will be able to create this kind of concepts. And it's so, so quick and easy in plasticity. And you also will get those product courses all in one bundle, 40% off for one week our, on, on our Easter super special here. So check it out. First link in the description. And otherwise, leave a like so I know you like this kind of video and subscribe so you don't miss those kind of videos. And I wish you a nice day. Bye.